Hi everyone, this is Gene from Mahalo.com. Today I'm going to be showing you how to add comic book style word balloons to your photos in the Photogene app on your Apple iPad. Photogene makes it easy to add text to any image. First choose the image that you'd like to edit, and then select the text option from the bottom of the screen and this will activate the text menu on the right side of the screen. Here you're going to see several different word balloon options to choose from, including an option to simply use text with no word balloon. Select the one that you want to use and drag it onto the screen. Now you can position the balloon anywhere you'd like just by holding and dragging the center of the balloon. You can also resize the balloon by holding and dragging out the corners. And finally, if your word balloon has a tail, you can hold and drag the end of the tail to point wherever you like. Once your word balloon is in place, you can edit the text by tapping once in the center of the balloon. The keyboard will then slide into frame along with several controls for your font, as well as the word balloon itself. Start out by typing your text. Above the keyboard on the right hand side, you will see the paragraph justification options which you can then use to align your text left, right, or center. Right next to that on the menu, there's a copyright symbol if you're just adding a copyright date to your image. To change the font, simply select font from the menu. Here you're given a number of different styles to choose from. Pick the one that you like and your text inside the box will immediately change. Keep in mind that you'll have to do this for each text box separately if you want something different than a default font. To the left of the font button on the menu, there is also an option to change the shape of the word balloon. Tap that to bring up the sub-menu where you can select different shapes and tails for your word balloon. Finally, the three options to the far left of the menu control the color of the balloon, the color of the outline, and the color of the font. Each of these options work in the same manner. You simply select a color and then slide the opacity control to wherever you like. Once everything is the way that you want it, simply touch the screen somewhere on the image itself, or just select the hide keyboard option located at the very bottom right hand of the screen. That's all for now. Please comment, rate, and subscribe below, and email any requests you may have to requests at mahalo.com. Thanks for watching.